Well, hello there, friends and families and enemies and frenemies and synthesizer nerds. This, of course, is the Abstract Instruments Avalon 303 clone. Uh, I love this machine so much, and I want to talk about the different cartridges that you could get for it. Of course, standard, it has the standard Roland uh, 303 filter inside of it. And it allows you to do anything that a real 303 has. And as I said in my last video, it's got the mod envelope and a couple other uh, additions, including a sub uh, and controls over different parameters that allow you to kind of expand on the 303 sound, put it into a drone kind of mode with this. <clears throat> and do extra features that the original 303 couldn't do. I have selected a pattern that I think you will all recognize uh, to start off, and I'll just tweak some things so you can get a setting as to what the in internal 303 uh, sounds like. Ready? Here we go. You can see that that's pretty faithful to the original. Sounds pretty good. Now, I'm going to hit the button on the back, and the very first cartridge I have installed is the SEM. This stands for the Oberheim Synthesizer Extender, Expander Module uh, by Oberheim. And I'm going to put it in filter B mode. Hot swappable, of course, these cartridges are. That light shows that we are using the external filter. Now let's see if it sounds any different. Quite a bit more resonance. This is a 12 dB pole. The roll-off won't be quite as extreme. Tracking it midway. This is really my favorite filter. I think it sounds there are a couple of modes on it. This is the only filter that has this. Like the original Oberheim, <laughs> lets you adjust low pass all the way through to high pass. High pass. Uh, as you can see, this is still the filter cutoff. In the middle, it's notchy. Yeah, you're in overdrive pretty nicely. 
is there well you can have another cartridge the 2044 <clears throat> modeled after the famous ssm circuit uh original based on Roland's SH and JP series filter, and you can hear that it's subtly different, but it's very Roland-y. Again, original. Each of the filters comes with a little pamphlet where it tells you a little bit about the origin of the filter as well as how to switch between modes on it. And that allows you to go, uh, some of the filters, two of the filters have the ability, the SEM and the OTA have the ability to go between 12 and 24 dB. So I'm going to show you the OTA uh, one right now. You can hear it in the low frequencies mostly. So. Thank you. 
That's a very SH-101 sound to me. The sub on square. Without. button on here that doesn't get talked about, but this uh, enhanced frequency response or FR basically is a high pass filter uh, at 30, D <coughs> 30 hertz and 70 hertz. You can hear it only in the subs, so you got to listen closely. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you loved this. And let me know what you think in the comments.